Hi, it's counselor Dr. Greg Jancis, the founder of the Center of Place of Hope and celebrating 40 years. Wow. I just want to speak today from my heart about cyber or childhood bully behavior, which can be cyber. Um, it, let me just say this. Bully behavior, which is emotional abuse, can and does have long-term psychological effects. Let me say that again. Bully behavior, whatever form, cyber, in person, is a form of emotional abuse, and it degrades a person and can have lifelong psychological effects. I'm going to define bully here. I'm going to read this. Bullying includes repeated, unwanted aggression, where there's generally a power imbalance, either physical or social. A bully. Maybe we've all had instances growing up where there's been a bully, but I'm thinking about ongoing, degrading bully behavior that really is emotional abuse. It can be direct. It could be name calling. It could be physical threat or even physical aggression. Um, or it's that indirect. Uh, a bully can have a threat that's indirect that they're going to do something. Uh, it, it even could be gossiping and rumor creation. That's a form of bully behavior. So passive aggressive uh, could be in a social situation. Um, humiliation, uh, causing division socially. So there's bully behavior comes in all different forms. Sometimes a person can make a mistake and then they seek forgiveness. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a pattern of a really explosive um, type behavior that is very detrimental, very degrading, and it can have a dramatic effect on one's self-esteem. All right, here's some of the psychological effects. There are just a couple I want to mention of long-term bully behavior. Your self-esteem and your self-worth. Mm, it targets that. Um, and you know, if you're a kid growing up, you can internalize the bully's words. You know, you're never going to amount to something. You're dumb. You're stupid. And, and you internalize those messages, which means I begin to say them to myself and I begin to believe them, which causes my self-esteem and my opinion about myself to really diminish. Number two, there is long-term uh, mental health effects higher rates of anxiety, anxiousness, uh, difficulty in attachment in relationships, uh, depression that is chronic, uh, as well as what we're going to call post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms can affect your sleep, uh, your ability to, again, have close or intimate relationships, uh, fulfilling relationships, trusting relationships. This all can go back to the root of a pattern of being bullied early on in your life. Um, there is some great challenges to my next statement, and that is I've got to find a place of forgiving, forgiving myself, and I'm not going to brush over that. Part of the healing is I'm no longer going to have anger, resentment, hurt that's poisoning me in the present. And we, we have to come to that place. Um, there is, that could be a level, the term that's oftentimes used is self-compassion. Putting in perspective what really happened to you and how it was dramatic, how it was damaging. We also know that um, there's times we simply, because there's depression, there's anxiety, the post-traumatic stress, could be you've turned to secret uh, addictive behaviors in order to cope, and you really do need some, I'm going to say intervention, to get you to a place where you are rising up in your self-esteem, you're rising up in your courage, you're rising up and you're able to build strong, supportive relationships. So let me say it, healing from bully behavior from the child, from our childhood. Yes, we may all have had some of this. 
Was it ongoing? Are you still living with the damaging effects today? Healing is possible. We need to put the attention where it needs to be and restore and rebuild our self-esteem. Uh, take a look for more information um, here at the blog, Bowling and its Long-Term Effects uh, on Our Life.